Hello fellow YouTubers and welcome back to my channel. In this video we're going to be covering a simple setup of a radius server within Synology. For those of you that aren't aware of what Synology is, it is a network attached storage device that comes packed with a ton of really cool features. And I just wanted to do a quick video on how to set up the radius server within this. Be aware that this is actually built off of free radius, but it is much easier to configure being that it's based off of a GUI. You can also SSH into the back end and do some more configuration if you'd like, but today we're just going to go over the simple setup of this radius server and show you how to get it connected and set up on your Wi-Fi network. Before we get started, if you could do me a huge favor, and like this video and subscribe to my channel that would be a very big help to me so that I can keep releasing cool content like this alright so let's go ahead and get started here the very first thing that you're gonna need to do is go to the package center within Synology and you will find this radius server if you can't find it you will you can search for it and then you'll need to install it first once you have it installed you can go ahead and open it so let's get started here. This is the settings page of the Radius server. It's just showing you some of the basic stuff here, like your authentication port 1812. It's connected to LAN 1. Um, we are doing this uh, based off of local users on the Synology device itself. Um, you can connect it to a domain and uh, use LDAP users or domain users, but to the, in this video we're just going to do local users only. So the next thing we're going to do here is go to the clients tab. As you can see, I already have my um, firewall slash router added in here and my access point. Um, so just to make this easy, uh, we'll just hurry and edit these and just show you what I've done. Basically, all you're doing is adding the name of your your firewall, whatever it might be. You need to create a shared secret, and then this would be the IP address of your firewall. So the only thing you need to do here is just click Add if you're creating a new one. Enter in all these credentials. Make sure you create a shared secret, and then click OK. Same thing on the U6 Lite. You're just naming that device, the access point, you're creating the same shared secret, and this is the IP address of that access point. That's basically everything that we need to do in this part of the video here. Um, here's a couple other options that you can look at if you want to block local users or local groups. Sorry, you can add them here and do that. And then this tab here, log just gives you the logs of who has been logging in to the Wi-Fi network and it will show you if there's any errors or anything like that that you need to know about. So let's go ahead and go back here and let's go into our Unify OS and I'll show you how to create a profile and get everything connected up. As you can see I already have a Synology free radius profile um, so I'm not gonna create a new one I'm just gonna pop in here and show you what needs to be added to make this work all I have done here is created this profile I've added the IP address of the Synology server the port 1812 is pretty standard and that will be in there already. You don't need to mess with that, you, or you shouldn't have to. And then your shared secret that you created on the Synology. Um, so that's basically it. You can add accounting and the port to that, but I don't think you really need it for this this uh, this setup here. So we're just going to skip that step. Um, as you can see, I've already got it all added here. So we're basically done in the Unify part of this video. So let's go back here and let's minimize this tab. And we're pretty much ready to go. And 
let's go ahead and just try to connect to our radius server um, in Synology you'll create users for anyone that accesses the Synology or anyone that has access to the Synology and that's actually going to be your um, users that can connect and that you can set up within there so let's go ahead and toggle on and off Wi-Fi here and then let's go ahead and connect to our radius test profile here I just created a test user for this video and we're just gonna go ahead and enter the password and then we're gonna hit connect um, it's gonna ask you this just go ahead and hit connect and there we go as simple as that you now have a radius server for your home network or enterprise that can be connected to a domain and you can pull users in that way and use all those users to connect to Wi-Fi as well um, that basically covers everything in this video I may do another one showing you the back end of free radius on Synology since it's actually built on free radius just much easier to configure but that's basically it in this video I hope you enjoy this uh, please like this video and subscribe to my channel that would be a huge help to me thank you bye bye